Hey LeGrand Alive, welcome to Coffee with Will, brought to you by Grand Run Hospital, Northwest Furniture and Mattress, Anything 2 Digital, EONI, and Les Schwab Tire Center, and Loveland Funeral Chapel. And I'm here today with Shayla Hewitt, who is the Executive Director at Mountain Valley Fitness, and a special guest who's here to talk to us a little bit about fitness, faith, and some events that she has coming up here soon. So Shayla, thank you so You're much welcome. for chatting with me here today. So tell me a little bit about, you are born in Cove, you traveled a little bit, you came back, um, and you decided to lay down roots here and to take a job as the executive director at Mountain Valley Fitness. What keeps you here? Why, why did you decide to stick around? Well, this valley is beautiful. Yeah. I wouldn't, it's just, it's home. Mm -hmm. uh, raising my family and my kids and I just have a lot of family here. Mm -hmm. And so my roots are here and I have no desire to leave. Very cool. How many kids do you have? I have two. Two kids. So yep. do they come to work with you? Do you see them out All there the on time. the bench press and everything? All the time. <laughs> They're three and five and you got the TRX thing hanging down and she's a swinging on them like, no, 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 it's not what's used. <laughs> yeah. So. Very cool. Very cool. So Mountain Valley Fitness is sort of a, a fitness group here in town, but something I think that, you know, makes them very special is that they are a faith-based organization, and I think that's very central to who you guys are as an, as an organization. And that connection between, um, you know, body and spirit is one that's kind of interesting to me. Mm -hmm. How does the spirit connect with the body, and why is it important to have uh, a fit body for the spirit? And mm -hmm a fit spirit for the body. Do those things connect? Yes, of course they do. You know, I think there's several different ways you can answer that question. But my own personal opinion is that they are definitely connected. Yeah. And when, <clears throat> you know, my, you, the body is our vehicle. It's our, it's our home for our spirit. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important to us and our message. And what we want to share is that you need to take care of that. Hmm. Because if your if your spirit isn't being taken care of in its home, well, that's it's 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 dangerous. Mm -hmm. it, it, it allows for illness and disease, and, hmm. which leads me to the next part: is that you have your physical health, your emotional health, mental health, spiritual health, and if those things aren't aligned, hmm. then you have illness or disease or something huh. like that. So that integrity to keep them all aligned. Is important and so that's what we that's what kind of what we're about very cool so how does that kind of come into play in your day-to-day -day sort of operations at Mountain Valley Fitness like how does that kind of you know connect how do you does that change the way you interact with people does it change your your prescriptions for them like what how does that kind of fit in there you know it all kind of depends on the person hmm. um, you know we're there to help heal a body or encourage you and be positive um, to encourage you with whatever, whatever goals it is that you have. So mm -hmm. if you're um, coming in and you're, you're a runner, right? Yes, yes. I am a runner. I, so, I run a little run, bit. Yeah. Or just a little bit. Just a little bit. That tall guy out running. <laughs> we hear about you all the time. You know, people know me by my face on Facebook and by my legs out running. So, yep, right. that is me. <laughs> well, let's say you couldn't run outside. Oh, you know, it would crush you, right? It would right? crush me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no, I always say that there is no quicker way. And, and you know, I, I, I'm sorry, I have to say this. There's no quicker way for, to ruin the fun of running than running on a treadmill. I right. just cannot do it. Right. I, I, you know, I could do it for short periods of time, right. but any long period of time I, know, I can't right? do it. Yeah. I totally understand <laughs> that. But let's say you couldn't. I, I couldn't, yes. You couldn't, for whatever reason you couldn't, or you were injured. Mm -hmm. And you had to take it slow. You had to, so that's what we're there for, is to, to bring back that spirit for you. Huh. You know, to, to what you're passionate about. Those things that you can't, if you were to injure your knee or your foot or something to where you couldn't run, mm -hmm. you know, to help align all of those things again. Yeah. Um, so the bodies, it seems like you know, what you're saying is that the body's sort of well-being, what you do to your body doesn't just affect your body, it affects, you know, 
your emotions mm -hmm. that affect how you you know your your, your happiness your contentment yeah. as well as maybe even like your spirit a spiritual side mm -hmm. of things would you say that that's yes, true i would huh that's a very interesting perspective um so no that being said i you know and i didn't prep you for this question so you didn't think about it <laughs> okay what is something maybe if like if somebody who's watching right now you mm -hmm. know they're like you know i'm not feeling well i'm mm -hmm. not feeling well i'm not feeling like my spirit and my body and my emotions are aligned what's a way maybe a simple way that they could start the process of getting that sort of back in alignment yeah, I think it, I different, uh, there's different ways to approach that. Um, you know, is to really think about what, what may be out of alignment. Mm. Um, is it an emotion? Is it, is it a relationship, um, a spiritual relationship? Or is it physical? Like trying to figure out yourself, like what is, what is out of integrity? Or um, so I would start with trying to figure out what those are, what your goals are. What, what is it that's missing? Hmm. What is that? What is, what's missing that would lead you to think that you were unwell? Unwell. Hmm. Interesting. You know, um, and if you weren't able to do that, I would, of course, suggest having a consultation. <laughs> <laughs> and we Absolutely. can help you with Hey, 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 man, there is nothing wrong with shameless plugs here. There is nothing wrong. 15-minute consultation <laughs> with one of those awesome therapists down there that I work with. And they would... Put you in the right direction. So when someone comes to approach you guys down at Mountain Valley Fitness, it doesn't sound like that they're just going to be a, like diagnosed physically. It sounds like that there's a little bit of a holistic approach and that mm -hmm. they're going to help the person to kind of have a little bit of self-knowledge of knowing what things are out of alignment and what things. Is that is that accurate? Yes. That doesn't mean that you're aware of it. Hmm. So it doesn't mean that you're conscious about the the alignment, whether, you, you know, so what we do and what we pray about is to help have God help us align that. Huh. Interesting. So. And so how does God fit into that? And, you know, I know that's a huge, <laughs> deep hole that we could it's go down a, for an hour and a half. Right. But briefly, how does God fit into that? You know, I mean, he is our spirit and that's what I believe. And yeah, so, yeah. um, it's just him leading us to heal you. Hmm. So it's really up to him. We're just the, the tool for him to use for you. Well, and maybe not me, but, but right. who are the cool whoever, for you. You are right. going to live. You are going to live. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So that's kind of like the deep thing that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I kind of want to, you know, ask you, you know, how did you personally get into all of this? You know, have you always been interested in fitness or is this yeah. just something <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you've yeah. always been interested in? It? Sports were my life growing up. So uh -huh. yes, I played every sport as a youth, um, you know, in a small school like Cove, we played, you start with volleyball to basketball, to softball, to soccer, to everything. To everything. So all year round, I was athlete, athlete, athlete. So yeah, I wanted athletic training. I mean, that was like, we're going to do this. And that just wasn't, wasn't it. Didn't want to do it. Um, just like my mom, just business spoke to me and it makes huh. sense to me. And so. That's where you went? That's where I went. Well, and you found a way that you could marry business with athletics. Right. And spirituality. Yes. It's like the best all of, of those all things. Worlds. Absolutely. I, it's, I enjoy it very much. Absolutely. So. That all being said, let's talk a little bit about, you know, what you, you know, what, what, what's going on this weekend. You have the, what's it called? The Family Fitness Festival. The Family Fitness Festival. Now, the Family Fitness Festival, I have been to the Family Fitness Festival before. <laughs> and so I'm going to, I'm going to, hit me with your cup if I'm doing anything, if I'm saying anything wrong. Hit you. Um, <laughs> the Family Fitness Festival is sort of uh, an event that they have every year yep. at Mountain Valley Fitness where they get a bunch of vendors, they get a bunch of cool people who are all focused around, you know, fitness and health and all those kinds of things into one place and you can come have fun goof off go on a run mm -hmm. and ultimately you know learn a little bit about health so how does this fit in what is it if did i miss if i missed anything no. and then how does this fit in with your overall mission well um we just want to get word out to the community about the different avenues of fitness and health and um, just communicate our message and and creating a healthy community hmm. so uh, and supporting local businesses. Not all of them are fitness and health, but they're um, pieces of what we would want um, as a person. Like just because you're interested in running doesn't mean that you don't 
care about shoes or the clothes you wear mm -hmm. or some of the products that you might use. And so mm. uh, we have different vendors like that that are coming, but we're supporting those people and trying to get as many vendors as we can to come on down and just offer whatever they have to offer. So whether that's uh, speakers and earphones mm -hmm. from US Cellular or, um, you know, jewelry or the fun stuff. So, but our Empower 5K run yeah. is what's going to start off our event. And it is I'm going to, all the proceeds are going to the uh, Presbyterian Fellowship Wednesday night dinner that they do. Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah. yeah. So, all of the proceeds are going to go to that. Um, they're done for the season, but uh -huh. in the fall, they'll start back up. And so, but we just, that cause is dear to our heart. And we just know a lot of people who put it on. And so, we wanted to help out with that. And so, this year, and continuously, I am hoping annually that we will continue to do that for them. And yeah. There you go. Awesome. So, so I think we're kind of coming to the end of our time here. Okay. Um, I thank you so much for coming in and chatting with me. I think, yeah. So the thing I kind of want to I want to leave, you know, our viewers with because a lot of times, you know, I think when people watch videos, they're like, "What's in it for me? What can I get out of this? What's the What's the thing I can take away from this interview?" So if you had like one lesson or one health tip or health sort of mantra or whatever that you might convey to our viewers who are here today. Um, okay. Would there be one or two things that you could think of, you know, someone who is actively engaged in health in this community? To continue doing that and to promote it, like mm. be involved in the community and really trying to encourage others to be um, healthy, you know, and by leading by example. Mm. Um, but I think the other thing that I would leave with is really just being kind to one another. I mean, mm. that's, I think, to me, what it's all about. Even with just fitness and health, it's just the positive environment that we have to offer and that we try to promote throughout the community. And just being kind and nice and to one another. I think that that's the most important thing. Very cool. It's interesting because, you know, health to you, because a lot of people think of health as sort of, an individual thing like I am healthy my health mm -hmm. my health but right. you know health you've mentioned several times in this conversation about the idea of a healthy community right so I mean and I know that I said that was the last question but I'm cheating <laughs> and it's my show so I can do whatever I want um, how is health of the individual and how does the health of the community connect oh man that is a good question so you know in my opinion I think that as a community is is made up of a bunch of individuals. Yeah. So if you have a whole bunch of individuals who don't care about their health or don't um, don't participate in any sort of healthy uh, lifestyle, then you're not going to have a healthy community. They're not going to get together if they're unkind to one another all the time. You have no unity. You have no, mm. you know, and Eastern Oregon is just one connected community. I mean, mm -hmm. people help each other out all the time. So that's something that I think we are blessed with here. Um, which also attracts me to Eastern Oregon. <laughs> Bring it. Yeah, all the way around circle, circle right? So, um, but yeah, I think that um, as individuals, we make up our community. Yeah. And so, yeah, they're connected. Absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Well, so, thank you so much for coming in and chatting with me today. I really you. appreciate your time. Yeah. Now, the Family Fitness Festival is this Saturday. Yes. What time? 8.30. 8.30 a.m. And that's the sign up for the run. And it's going to be going all day, right? Till noon. Till noon. Yep. Okay. So all morning. Yep. There's going to be stuff going on all morning at Mountain Valley Fitness and Therapy. You should go down, check it out, jog with me, um, yes. and just enjoy the time. So thank you, LaGrand Alive, for tuning in. This has been Coffee with Will, uh, brought to you by Grand Ron Hospital, Northwest Furniture and Mattress, Anything 2 Digital, EONI, and Loveland Funeral Chapel. Thank you so much. Like and share the video and tune in to LaGrandalive.tv for more local content. I'm Will Bowman. <laughs>